Good morning, grade six students. Today, our grammar lesson would be about prepositions. So please open your notebook on page 225. Our objective for this lesson is to define and identify prepositions, objects of prepositions, and prepositional phrases. What are prepositions? Prepositions are words used before nouns, pronouns, or noun phrases connecting them to other words in the sentence. They give information about time, place, or direction. There are three types of prepositions. Prepositions of time, prepositions of place, and prepositions of direction. First of all, prepositions of time. For example, we'll go to the movies on Saturday. On is a preposition of time since it tells me when we are going to the movies. Dad snores loudly at night. At is a preposition since it tells me the time when dad snores. I always drink milk in the morning. In is a preposition of time since it tells me when I drink milk. Here are some sentences that have prepositions of place. Children play in the garden. In tells us the place where the children play. Jane hid the letter under the desk. Under shows the place where Jane hid the letter. The telephone is by the window. By shows the location of the telephone. Now the following sentences have prepositions of direction. The plane flew over London. Over shows the direction the plane took. Roy went to England last week. To shows Roy's destination. They drove through the tunnel. Through shows the way they took to reach a certain place. Let's have some practice. We will try to underline the prepositions we will find in this paragraph. I have been rollerblading since I was five years old. For me, it is the best way to exercise. My dad taught me how to rollerblade over a ramp last week. He and I rollerblade to the skate park every Saturday. After skating, we go to our favorite restaurant and order ice cream. What do we call the noun or pronoun that follows a preposition? The noun or pronoun that follows a preposition is the object of preposition. For example, you may go to the mall with him. Mall and him are objects of prepositions. Mall is a noun and him is a pronoun. A preposition and its object form a prepositional phrase. As you see, in example one for a bike ride is the prepositional phrase and of the night is the prepositional phrase. A prepositional phrase can act as an adjective or as an adverb. A prepositional phrase can act as an adjective to tell more about a noun or pronoun. It can also act as an adverb to tell more about the verb. Here are some examples. 1. Students from our school won the race. From our school is a prepositional phrase that acts as an adjective to modify the noun students. 2. The house across the street is mine. Across the street is a prepositional phrase that acts as an adjective to modify the noun house. 3. A pretty girl sat beside me on the bench. Beside me and on the bench are two prepositional phrases that act as adverbs to modify the verb sat. 4. All the neighbors looked for the missing boy. For the missing boy is a prepositional phrase that acts as an adverb to modify the verb looked.